Hello, and welcome to another Weird Facts video. In this video, we will talk about if dogs can get sad when you bring another dog home. So, let us get right into it. It's something to think about if you're thinking about buying a second dog, or you're thinking to add another member to the pack. We'll also look at some positive or negative reactions your dog can have when you bring home a new pet. Do dogs ever get depressed? Some people are adamant that dogs do not get upset when you get another dog, or when you add a new pet to the pack. At least not in the way we think of sadness, but according to research, our furry best friends can experience a wide range of emotions that we should be mindful of. Can dogs get depressed when forced to bond with a new dog? Dogs have been through heartbreak. People have witnessed their anguish at the loss of their siblings. According to some people, they never experienced their dog reacting in a negative way when they brought home a new friend, but never thought about it from the dog's point of view. That does not rule out the possibility, nor does it rule out their intense feelings about this new furry bundle of joy now sharing their territory. Let's look at some of the most frequent feelings, or at least the human version that we assign to specific reactions that come with getting another dog. <coughs> Excitement! Our neighbor brought home an 8-week-old Lab Collie Mix to bond with their first dog, a female German Shepherd who was around 6 months old. She was giddy with delight. She followed her around, eager to play with her, and even shared her bones with her. Sharing her bones was a big mistake, because the 8-weeks-old Lab decided that all bones belonged to her from then on. But the German Shepherd was so captivated with her new sister that she didn't seem to mind. They soon became inseparable and were practically one puppy. The other followed where the first went. Anxiety Dogs that are extremely attached to their owners and accustomed to being the top dog in the house may be fearful of newcomers. Consider visiting an expert if your dog becomes anxious after you bring home a new friend. Some of the signs of anxiousness are Dog unable to rest or relax. Even when it's not hot, you'll find your dog panting and pacing. Shivering. Cowering in a house corner. Getting out of the yard by digging. Furniture destruction. Self-mutilation, such as excessive licking or chewing. Urinating at a higher rate. It's possible that you'll need to introduce them to each other more cautiously, keeping them apart until they adjust if you witness any of these signs. Depression. Yes, it turns out that dogs could possibly experience sadness when you bring home a new puppy. Consult a veterinarian if you're concerned that your dog is sad to the point of depression. Some of the signs and symptoms are appetite loss and, if left unchecked, potentially dangerous weight loss, low energy and a lack of willingness to engage in their favorite activities. Withdrawing and concealing, dog even avoids his closest friends. Aggression signs, such as snarling and snapping. The indicators can vary greatly from dog to dog, just as they can in people, so if you observe any of them, please contact your veterinarian. Cautiousness and Suspicion Your dog may be suspicious of the visitor and show caution. Who is this new dog in my house? Where did he or she come from? Is he or she planning to steal my favorite toy? Is this dog planning to sleep on my pillow? This is perhaps the most rational and normal reaction to a new dog if you think about it. After all, your current dog has no means of knowing whether or not this new imposter is trustworthy or here to stay. Protectiveness If your dog is naturally overly protective, he or she can respond aggressively to the newcomer. It's not that your dog hates the new puppy, it is only being protective from being harmed by the new dog. There's a narrow line between being protective and being overprotective. Consult an expert if you believe your dog has crossed that boundary. It's not adorable to have a dog that will go to any length to protect you from harm because your dog isn't always the best judge of what constitutes a threat. It not only makes introducing a new canine difficult, but it can also result in tragedy. Tips on how to introduce your dog with a new one If introducing two puppies, allowing them to bond and learn their new home together will not be an issue. But introducing older adopted dogs or female-to-female -female older dogs could present a big problem, especially if the female dog is protective over the human owner. When you go to pick up your new dog, leave your present dog at home. This is a safer option for all parties concerned. It will be impossible to manage the interaction of two new dogs while driving a car, and the cramped area may make the first meeting more stressful for the animals. For the introduction, enlist the assistance of one or more people. Each dog should be handled by a single person. For the meeting, choose a neutral location. There may be territorial behavior that evolves into anger if you bring a new dog into your home before it has been introduced to your current dog or dogs. 
Initially, keep the dogs on a leash, but try to retain a loose lead to reduce tension. Allow the dog's interaction to develop at their own speed. Even if they initially ignore each other, this is preferable to avoid driving them into a scenario where they become defensive or violent. Keep the first encounter brief. Allow them to touch noses and sniff each other for a few moments before separating them and engaging them in another activity, such as an obedience exercise, or play for a few minutes before giving them another brief introduction. This scattering of first touch can help to avoid stress and anger from rising. Maintain a pleasant and upbeat tone in your own voice and that of the other handlers. This will help to keep everyone calm and productive in the situation, both humans and canines. Keep snacks on hand to use as incentives for good conduct during the interaction breaks. Be careful not to give snacks to the dogs when they are interacting. This can cause a fight. Pay attention to the body language of all the dogs participating. If your new dog is being introduced to more than one resident dog, it's preferable to divide the introductions so that no pairs or groups of dogs attack the newcomer. Body language that is inviting and joyful is a hint that things are going well. Body language that is guarded and defensive can spell danger. Separate the dogs if they exhibit negative body language and return to diverting them with other activities. Wait a few moments before trying again, but keep the interaction brief. The key goal is to keep tensions between the dogs from rising. Continue with short interactions until the initial thrill has worn off and welcome behaviors have faded. It's time to take your dogs home when everyone is behaving calmly and positively. Before approaching the house, take your dogs for a short walk around the neighborhood together when you come home. Once you've entered the house, take them on a tour of the interior with you. Allow them to go off the leash if they do so gently, but supervise their behavior together for a week or two. Ultimately, our dogs are a very important part of our lives. We should take their feelings into consideration before forcing them to share their territory, toys, and quality time with the people they love. So that is all from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, kindly like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. We will be back with another amazing video. Stay tuned to Weird Facts.